When I say I was born in the wrong generation, it's because if I want to be a psychologist today, it means I have to help people through like workplace burnout and navigating relationships with narcissistic parents. But if I was a psychologist 75 years ago, I would have gotten to run the Stanford prison experiment. The Stanford prison experiment is one of the most famous in psychology, but its story seems to be different to how it's usually told. It happened more like 55 years ago in 1971. And the way it's usually told is that 24 participants were recruited for a two week study on prison life. Participants were then randomly allocated to be either prisoners or guards and the treatment of these prisoners in this simulation environment became increasingly more brutal so that the experiment had to be stopped at just six days. The conventional wisdom is that people who are given roles will absorb those roles and even commit monstrous acts if it's seen as normal in that environment. But this has been brought into serious doubt. Firstly, there are reports of the study lead Zimbardo actually schooling the guards to act in an abusive fashion before the experiment started and him talking about the possibility of the study ending prematurely even before it began. The study has also been struggled to have been replicated, leading the general consensus to believe that Zimbardo had decided what the results of the study would be before it had even been started. A strong reminder that just because something's published in a journal doesn't make its teachings eternal. 